Hey, my ladies and my gents, I'm Steven Tosher, and this is my lovely mother. Hey, mom, how are you feeling today? Lovely. Lovely. That's awesome because we're making one of the most loveliest Guyanese dishes sure. on the planet. We actually stumbled upon this uh, recently again. Mom has been eating this for a long, long time. When I went out and got some smoked salted salmon, and it was really on sale, but I'm going to give you at the end of the episode the price that it would cost normally, but I got it for a ridiculous sale above. 25% of its original price. Um, so yeah, I brought it home, and mom's like, oh, I'm gonna make something called Matem. Is that how I pronounce it? Matem. M-E-H-T-E, sorry, M-E-T-H-E-M. Matem, there we go. All right, this looks good. Okay, so um, I'm just going to break down. Thanks, mom. Okay, so I'm going to be trying, I'm going to be Try, trying, yes. I'm going to be breaking down uh, the calories for everything uh, for this uh, episode, and then I'm going to tell you how much it will be uh, for per serving size. So over here we have one large yam, and this is 580 grams, or 450 calories. We have one large potato, that's 180 grams, or around 150 calories. We have two plantains that when peeled will be around 250 grams each, or 550 calories together. We have one onion at 110 grams, is around 50 calories. We have 500 grams of frozen cassava. I say that again, frozen, because you'd prepare it differently if it wasn't frozen, and that's 710 calories for the whole pack. Now we have four pieces of 70 grams per piece salted and smoked salmon at 450 calories, and around 15 grams of protein per piece. We have one can of coconut milk at 530 calories, and the final uh, a spice in area over here, we have one small pepper at 20 calories, and then we have some salt and pepper and some just overall hot sauce that's very, very low in calories, so I'm going to put that at zero. So all of uh, this in these ingredients here together are 3,000 calories, which means that if we have eight servings all together, you're looking at 375 calories per serving. All right, so before we start preparing our meal, I just want to quickly say that uh, the cassava is frozen and the fish is frozen because... Because uh, it's easier to use the frozen cassava. Mm -hmm. And the fish, it's, it's very necessary to fry it, so it adds flavor to the food. Right, and it's not overpowering the food, which means that uh, the salt and everything that you would do if you were to grill it and or if you were to fry it, uh, it's already added in there and you're just going to throw this in so instead of it becoming a 40 or 60 minute process we're only dealing with a 20 to maybe 30 minute process mm -hmm. and lastly the cassava if you do want to buy it uh, like you know where there's a brown fresh, fresh skin on it you make sure it's very white inside but even still it's very very hard to know if it's good or not uh, that's why we went with the frozen cassava because you can just pick it up and go and it's very cheap so let's just jump into the steps right now step one we're gonna make, you're gonna chop up everything, okay? So the plantain, you're gonna make it into little discus. The yams and the potatoes are gonna be around the same size, maybe about an inch, inch and a half in diameter. Uh, chop up the onions nice and fine. And the cassava, which is going in first into the pot, you can leave a little bit thicker because they're gonna cook a little bit longer and they're gonna sit in the milk. Step two, you're gonna grab the pot here. Mom, you got the water? Yes. I'm going, uh, we're gonna fill up the pot with how much cups of water, Mom? We're going to put three cups of water. Three cups of water? On the pot. Yeah. And we're going to put in the... And then we add one cup of coconut milk. Okay. And the last thing we're going to add on, I'll get two more cups of water while you're talking. Yeah. What are you going to add in now? You put it on the stove if you like. Oh, and we already put the stove on, so... Yeah. Okay. So add we'll two more. Ahead. Yeah. There's three cups of water and one cup of milk. And then you just put this onto the stove. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you can add the cassava. Because it's frozen, it's best to add coal. And then we add some salt. Salt? Yeah. Here we go, take the top off. And you want to just crack it into it? 
Okay, so that's step two. After about five minutes or so, then you're going to take the yams and you're going to put it in slowly. It is all depends on how much the cassava has uh, defrosted, okay? We had the cassava sitting on for a few minutes, so it only took around five minutes for that. Okay, step four. Uh, this mixture is uh, really rapidly boiling, so we just need to add, stir it a bit and add the plantain. Professional hands. Add the potatoes and onions. Mm -hmm. okay, just use a spoon. Mm -hmm. Onion, onion uh, usually make it very flavorful. Mm -hmm. And the hot peppers, my goodness, we're not going to use all this pepper, we're going to just use a little bit of it. Just got back from getting that out of my eyes. Yeah, we don't want not you cool. very hot. So. Seriously, burning. So, we're going to cook this at medium heat. Because of all the raw coal ingredients, it tends to stop boiling, so we're going to turn it up. And then uh, we're going to turn it down again once it starts boiling. So we have another and 10 minutes. Boil about 10 minutes. So so far it's cooked for about 10. It's gonna take another 10, and around at the five wave, five minute mark again, you're gonna throw it back down from uh, three quarters heat down to half. Step five: uh, the fish is fully, pretty much defrosted at this point. It's been in there for 20 minutes, just stewing away. It smells so good in here, especially the coconut milk, and it's just oh, it's delicious. So within the last two minutes, now mom is going to take the salmon throw it inside of the pot and the way to be able to check to see if the provision the root provisions are done is if you like take a spoon and you're just able to easily uh, half it so if you pick one up and you take a fork and you can stick it inside or just break it in half with the fork without any real ease that's when you know the provisions are done so that's step five and now I'll be just showing you what it looks like at the end all right, so this is about one eighth of a serving. So as you're gonna see, you get about three quarter, about half a piece of the fish. You're gonna get uh, some of the plantain. You're gonna get some of the yam, and this is just absolutely delicious. I just have it in a fork here, so I can just pull out the uh, the different uh, vegetables here and provisions. See, as you can see, the cassava is nice and easy to pick up, and you have the yam here, very soft. It's been cooking for a long time, and then the salmon, whatever fish or whatever, it's literally falling apart as you pick it up. Alright mom, so how much do you think this delicious concoction will cost us? Um, $1.75 per portion. Oh, I'm sorry, how much? But $1.75 per portion. I was completely oblivious by the delicious. So, so $1.75 times 8, you're looking at around just under 13 bucks or so, which is pretty darn good if you're going to get 8 servings out of it. It might actually be 9 when we double look at it. You can also, if you want to add on some extra calories, you can have it with a slice of bread or you can have it with dumplings. And if you want to reduce the amount of calories, then you're probably going to want to go with like a, a tilapia fish or you can go with steak or you can even do chicken. Uh, but remember, the salt versus the, the coconut milk sweet is the main contrast and the provisions really absorb all of the, the, the different uh, tastes from, um, that are just being mixed in there, including the spice, which is fantastic. So, anything else you want to add to this delicious uh, dish, Mama? Or? Um, it's beautiful and I think that uh, if you have too much of it, you could maybe I have to go to the washroom. Very true. Uh, probably maybe get constipated. Yeah, you could definitely do that as well. These are provisions, remember. This yeah, is like heavy stuff. Yeah, this will hit the bottom of your gut quick. So remember, when you're finished eating this, give it like 5-10 minutes, maybe you have a glass of water, and see if you want to have seconds or thirds after that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it on this episode. If you have any comments or questions, drop it in the comments section below. If you want to uh, check out the video, uh, the other sorry, the other videos from the series, if you want to check out the blog or the website, it'll be in the description. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I even though this does take about 30, 35 minutes to prepare, it is worth it, especially if you multiply the amount of ingredients and keep building up. That's the one good thing about all, a lot of the recipes we do, mm -hmm. is you just gotta add up and add down, and you pretty much stay constant with the taste. So. Hey, cook for a bunch of people, cook for yourself, it's all right. And remember, only 375 calories or so. So yeah, uh, have yourself a wonderful day, evening. Morning, morning. God bless. Okay.
Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please tweet, tumble, like, share, thumbs up, plus pin, or do whatever you do, and please subscribe.